Hello, this is Christy from 52 Hider 3D with part one of the first tutorial that I've done for a long time on how to make a volcano. So start by opening a new scene and change the render engine to Blender Render. You can delete the lamp and the cube and add in a plane. Scale it up by about five and add a multi-resolution modifier. Subdivide it four times, change the type to simple. Then go into sculpt mode and begin by sculpting a hill or a mountain, volcano shaped mountain with the brushes. I want to subdivide it again. You can use F to change the brush size. Control to um, sculpt backwards, if that means so, take away from the sculpt rather than add, and shift to smooth so now you've got a hill shape use control to hollow out a hole in the um, in the top of the, the mountain to be a sort of crater like so. And then go out of sculpt mode into object mode and maybe add, apply the multi-resolution modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier. Just change the render to 1 and click smooth. Then add a displace modifier, add a new texture there and change the strength to 0.1. We now go into edit mode, select the outside edges like that, and extrude them out and scale, just so there's a bit more area to work on. So now let's add a material to this mountain, call it mountain. And I've got caps lock on. I always do that. And then I can't spell mountain. That's I have no idea if that's right, but it'll do. Intensity to 0.1. Specular intensity off and that's all fine so let's go into top view split the view and change this side to a UV image editor open an image and let me find where I put it it's the lava map and you can download this image from my Facebook page if you want to or you can just make your own one this was just used um, done using the texture paint mode in Blender. Select everything in the um, volcano and unwrap from view or project from view. Change the uh, type to salt to um, textured the view type and just move this so that the lava looks like it's coming out of the crater. Just 
juggling it around like that. Let's just render that to see what it's looking like. That's fine. And that seems to be fine as well. So go over to the texture panel, add in a new texture, call it lava emit. And this is just going to be the lava flows coming down the side of the mountain. And change the type to image or movie. Open that lava map. Change the mapping coordinates to UV. Turn off color. Turn on intensity. Turn on emit and also check RGB to intensity. And now you can see it looks about like that. And if I render it, you see it's all uh, white. So we want to add a bit of color to this. In the second slot, add in another texture, call it lava color. Also change it to image or movie, lava map, UV, and open up the node editor. Change it to texture, make sure lava color is selected, check use nodes. Delete the checker, add a image input, choose the lava map, add a converter color ramp node and pipe it in like that. Then add in a new point on the color ramp and change it to a yellow color, move it to about there. Then add another one, move it, change it to a more red color. Keep shifting these around a bit and then press F12 to render this and F12 again and there we have the lava coming down the side of the mountain. So that's the mountain pretty much done. Let me just save this. Now let's position the camera and go back into solid mode so we can see the camera. Change the focal length to 55 millimeters and change the render resolution to a one by one aspect ratio. So make sure X and Y are the same. And then we can fly the camera to wherever it is we want to have it. Bear in mind there is going to be quite a lot of smoke coming out the top of this volcano so um, putting it about there will be good and then the smoke's obviously going to come out like that. Okay, uh, do get rid of that. And what else do we need to do? We need to add in a light of some sort, add in a sun lamp. Uh, rotate it around so it's about like that and so it's like that po sort of pointing towards the camera have a look and change the color to a pinky red like that let's just render that textured mode we can move it about a bit more like that yeah and that looks better it's not really having much of an effect because the intensity is turned off on this um, texture but, uh, that'll do fine and now what do we need to do? We need to just change the sky to a little more dramatic sky. So go into the world settings, turn on blend sky, change the horizon color 
to a dark mar maroony red like that and you get that much more dramatic looking sky I think we can just um, have a quick shift around of that uh, lava map just to get it in a bit of a better position Yeah, that's a bit better. And that's pretty much it. So, for this tutorial, there is one more thing we need to do, and that is to add the emitters for the smoke that we're going to be using in the next part of the tutorial. So, add in, go into object mode and add in a plane. And go into solid shading mode so we can see what we're doing or even wireframe and get this to be about where the crater is scale it down a bit I think and subdivide it number of cuts 4 select one of the vertices, turn on proportional editing change the editing fall off to random and move this up a bit just so it's a bit more bumpy and uh, will project the smoke in a more random fashion and let's just call this main smoke emit we can call that mountain and that's it pretty much done for this part of the tutorial I'll see you next time for the smoke for the for the volcano when lots of fire and smoke will be coming out so see you then don't forget to comment below or on my facebook page facebook.com/52hider3d see you next time